Hi Digital Marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to track successfully Ninja form submissions with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. And I have already installed Google Tag Manager and inside Google Tag Manager, I have a Google Tag which activates my Google Analytics 4 tracking code. If you have no idea how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager, then take a look at the description box of this video. I giving the link, you can check it out and activate with your Google Analytics and connect your Google Analytics 4 with your website so let's get started you look at that code this code is designed to keep looking for successfully ninja from submissions and then it will make the data available in the data layer this code is also known as an auto event listener will be waiting for ninja dome event and if you one occurs it will push some useful data to the data layer and give the event name from id and also value of the all form fields so copy the code and go back to google tag manager create a new tag and click the tag configurations find out the custom html click the custom html and paste the code trigger will be the all pages and finally giving a tag name that is custom html ninja form save it after completing the tag, go to preview options and continue that our Google Tag Assistant connected with our website. You can see the right side um, are looking the Google Tag Assistant. Now go to our Ninja form. That is our Ninja form. Just fill up the form and message will be the this is test process. And after completing the form, click the submit button and back to the tag assistant and check it out our ninja from event are activated or not so you can see the left side ninja from success event is looking here click the event and also you can see the lots of parameter are showing here with the event our event is ninja from success and with the event we have to find out the parameters of the event that is form id and under the inputs find name email message all of from field values so now we are creating the new tag as well as we are also creating the parameters for this event so let's go to the google tag manager and click a new for new tag and tag configuration we are find out the google analysis ga4 event now click the google analytics and under the google analytics click the google analytics ga4 event measurement id where we find out the measurement id go to our google analytics 4 property and then go to the admin under the data collection and modification center go to data streams that is our website click it and here you can see the measurement id just copy the measurement id from the google analytics ga4 property and back to our google tag manager paste the measurement id event name that will be the custom event name you can put any name of the event in my case i just put ninja from submission now go to the event parameters and and click the add parameter and go back to the, our tag assistant firstly we have to pick the from id as a parameter for ninja from success event so we are creating the variable for the form id parameter so here we putting the parameter name that is form id the name will be depends on you you can write anything as a parameter name now value is a factor now we create a value click the plus sign and click a new for plus sign and the variable configuration we are select the data layer variable and here we putting our data layer so for the data layer we are go to the tag assistant here we can see our data layer is showing here form id just to copy the form id and back to again google tag manager and as in data layer variable name we have to put the form id the data layer is built now giving the data layer variable name that is dlb from id save it and we are go to the second one and back to again that will be the input name as event parameter name now create a value then for the value click the plus sign and again click the plus sign and variable configurations data layer variable now we putting the data layer from the input name so we copy first the parental topic as the inputs because we are now giving a name input name so firstly we pick the parental topic that is inputs and secondly we are pick the name so copy the 
input paste it dot then again go back to tag assistant and copy the name now giving a name of the that layer variable dlb input name save it and we are now create a third one that is email just we giving a name email and create a event parameter value so click the plus sign and also click the plus sign variable configuration select the data layer variable and back then for the data layer variable name go to the tag assistant so here copy the inputs then copy the email input paste it dot and again tag assistant now pick the email copy the email so it's just giving a data layer variable name that is dlb email save it we are almost creating a three event parameter now we creating the fourth one that is message so we are just giving a name that is form message and for the value we are clicking the plus sign also click the plus sign and variable configuration find out the data layer variable and here also giving the variable name that is input dot message input dot message dlv message save it we are also creating the for event parameter you can also create a phone parameter so now i am just escape this step i hope you can make it easily so go back to our google tag manager and now finally creating the trigger so click the triggering and also click the plus sign and for the trigger configuration click the custom event here we find out the custom event click it what is the event name for collecting the event name we are go to google tag assistant here you can see the event name just copy the event name as it is if you have any kind of a spelling mistake your event is not working perfectly so copy the event name and back to triggering section paste the event name and finally giving a name of the trigger that is event ninja form save it we are almost done all of the process now finally giving that tag name that is ga4 ninja form submission save it now time to testing go to the preview option and check out that our event is working perfectly or not as well as we are also checking in the google analytics ga4 our event is working in the google analytics 4 with our creating parameters or not so go to preview continue and go to our website now our desired form is ninja form so go to ninja form that is our ninja form and now we fill up the all forms field and this is the test and finally click the submit button so now back to google tag assistant here you can see our tag is fired perfectly and now we are and you can go to the variable sections and here you can see our all variable is working perfectly that you can see our dlb form id is one and also dlb email which we are created that is showing our email and also we are find out our more parameters which we are created dlb message this is the test and input name dlb input name by salami so that our variable is working nicely now we are go to the google analytics 4 here we can check it out our event is working perfectly with that or not so google analytics 4 go to the admin section and the data display sections go to the debug view here we can see our ninja form submissions event are looking here so click the event and the, in the parameter section we can see our all parameters which we are created for our ninja form submissions event so look at that form id one from message and input name all our parameters are also passing with our ninja form submission event and in the right side you can see our event already showing here so finally we are successfully set up our ninja form submissions for google analytics 4 with google tag manager with the all parameters thanks for watching this video i will see in the next video with a new topic thank you